is so distant, the light we receive from quasars is heavily redshifted. Derek Müller, you are the Spiritasium dude from YouTube. I say you, don't ever expand yours, God, expanding space with any kind of balloon. This balloon, it is expanding in space to the outside space, which already exists, and you know it that. Yes, but this balloon surface, it is three dimensional. Yes, and this balloon consists separate nuclei of atoms which move in relative to each other, and this movement, it is happening in space. So, this three-dimensional space, which is just states, which is nothing, giving possibility for this balloon expansion. But you can't explain with words or visually way what giving possibility for yours, God, expanding space, expansion. So you can only believe in that there is this kind of God, like expanding space. There was antique gods like Zeus. Zeus create lightning, and yours God expanding space create light redshifting some way to somehow, but nobody can explain with words or visual way. So you can only believe in yours God. There is no expanding space. Space don't play tricks. It's not curving, bubbling, waving, or anything. It's not expanding, nuclear of atoms expanding, and recycling dark expanding energy, like a chillions and chillions expanding dark energy particles, which just expanding and recycling expanding energy. And then if when you send one expanding photon, that way where is expanding nuclear of atom, that expanding photon can interact with these chillions dark energy particles, which start expanding so fast that they don't have a time pushing each other's away, same way what they're expanding, and they spawn new electron which expanding. And you, an atom physicist, you thinking about that there was already electron, but there was not. You greet new electrons, new expanding electrons with expanding light, what you send in that way where is expanding nuclear of atoms. And that's the way it is. I have a keyboard theory of everything. Albert Einstein opened physics Pandora box with this stupid idea that space can curve in. You're never going to get theory of everything for physics if you believe that there is this kind of hocus pocus space which can play tricks. Space never was born. It is eternal and three dimensional states which is nothing. So, are you going to be losers or are you going to think about with that your own brain how it's going? You should just Google Savorinen and go read how it's going, how universe really works, how this eternal recycling system works and why these expanding galaxies which was born from inside center to outside. How these expanding galaxies are such big particle information from this kind of very use and extreme density systems which has to recycle that eternal energy and how these systems emit energy which have a nature of galaxies, expanding galaxies which was born center to outside very quickly without any kind of pulling forces and without this kind of god like a curving space. We have already proved that I'm right. We can see with James Webb telescope that there was there is very massive and young, very massive and ready galaxies, very young visible universe, and you can't explain that with your theory, because you have you, you have a total wrong theories. You believe in this kind of hocus pocus space which which can play tricks. Forget this stupid idea. Einstein was wrong with curving space. Well, right with the relative time, but also substance volume. It is also relative. And this is the keyboard theory of everything. Google Saborinen. Okay, cheers.